YouTube. It's Sunday. Um, I've just finished at the car boot. Got a few bits. I'm gonna go through that later. My mask on. Um, I've had to come out early. I've cut my freaking feet to pieces. I've ended up um, coming out this morning tired, and I didn't realise I'd put ankle socks on. So if you look there, cut all the back of my foot to pieces. Um, so yeah, I've had to come out early. Spent quite a bit of money to be fair. Um, I'm not a lot of stuff, so we'll see. But I think if you've just had a quick glimpse, look at that fly tipping at the back. Disgusting. If you've just had a quick peek, um, I've got some boots that might be worth quite a bit of money. But we'll see. But I'm going to go through this and I'm going to go through my charity shop haul from yesterday. Um, yeah, it's all gravy. See in a bit. What up, YouTube? So, come. I can't see myself on the screen, so if I look dog rough, I apologise. Uh, just finished my 10th day running um, again. Beat my um, beat yesterday's, but today I, I beat it by quite a bit. So I've now, you know, got to be more realistic. I don't think I'm going to beat today's tomorrow. Um, I think my aim is to get to a half an hour 5k. Uh, if I can get to a half an hour 5k, I might up one of the runs a week to a 10k, but we'll see. I've only been doing it 10 days, you know what I mean? I need to relax. I'm already going on about, and then I'll do a marathon. I'm just over the top. Um, yeah, so I haven't uh, I haven't got around to showing you uh, what I've picked up yet. I will do when I get back to the house. All being well, the kids are behaving. Um, yeah. I was going to say, oh, there's something happened. Well, I forgot to mention it in the first um, in the first vlog. Uh, I we had, we got some news while I wasn't vlogging. I'm in between, like I don't know, you know. I'm I'm kind of it's good and it's shit at the same time. Um, we have like a lot of people that come around to give us advice about Liam and um, give us like tips on how to deal with his autism and stuff like that. Like, um, we're going on some courses soon, which I'm looking forward to. And um, one of the things that got brought up was the size of our house. Now, I've been talking about this on the vlog for a while. Um, about uh, the fact that we were saving for an extension when I was working. Um, I was saving for an extension when I was working. And, you know, obviously, the redundancy came up. A uh, big chunk of money, and I didn't want. It wasn't enough for an extension, but I didn't want to. Um, you know, I thought I saw it was the opportunity to get out, especially with what's happened with COVID and all that stuff. Um, you know, we kind of we've been saving, but we kind of like with everything that happened, we went right. We don't know what's going to go on for the next couple of years. Let's just, you know, not worry about the extension. Well, with all these people that come around to give us advice and stuff like that, one of the social workers did bring up that, and we, we feel the same, that our house is too small, it's a two bed. We live, look, we have a good time in our house. It's not like it, it's unlivable. It's very livable, apart from, you know, if you spoke to my wife, it'd be unlivable, but it's very livable. It's a lovely house, I love my house. Um, but one of the, one of the social workers that came round got in touch with this lady who um, come round and just had a look at our situation looked at the situation with Liam looked at our living situation and she said that she felt that we needed another room now the options were I think I, I probably brought this up in the vlog the options were us selling the house and us then renting um, us getting onto the council which we'd end up doing that's loud um, us getting onto the council, which I, I don't even know how that works, to be quite honest. Um, I know there's certain tiers and stuff like that, but you know, we've got an investment in this house, and it's always been a thing for me. I would rather live around um, our situation in the house than move. Um, we, we were planning, as Lacey's getting older, we were planning on giving Lacey our room, we were going to move into Liam's room, we don't use our room apart from sleeping and um, other stuff uh, but so we 
we heard while we've been off this woman came around and when, when this one came, she was being all positive and stuff and it was a liam social worker and liam social worker said look take it with a pinch of salt and we we said because this one was so positive we said there's no way um that we're going to get anything from this we were just like whatever this isn't going to happen um you know and we'd already had plans written up about the area at the side of our house which we'd like to get extended uh so we gave them the plans we'd had these plans written up somebody gave us plans for free this guy who again saw our situation met liam and said you can have these plans for free <laughs> um, which was really nice of him his way of us when we eventually did it probably using his workers but it was very nice of him um and we gave them the plans and i've talked for like five minutes now basically what what's going to happen now is We've ended up getting a grant for an extension. Now, they're going to build it. We don't know when it's going to be. But it's basically been written up. We've had paperwork for it. And uh, what I mean is, it's a positive and a negative. The negative side of things is for me and my ego. I don't like it. Um, I, don't be wrong, I'm very... No, I'm not excited, I'll be honest. It's not Some I would much prefer to go without getting like a handout than... Um, you know, I'd much prefer me to work my way up and us to save the money and then it's like something that we've built but at the same time, because this lady kind of just saw our situation and they've offered it us we'd be fools not to take it but yeah, it's, it's a good thing it's going to happen in the next couple of years but yeah, for me, as an ego, as a man um, you know, it's a bit of a knock on the ego but Again, it's a good thing, it's a good thing for the family. But anyway, um, coming up next on Steve Green Adventure, let me show you what I got from the cherry shop yesterday in the car boot today. Right, what up YouTube? How you doing? The kids and wife are upstairs, I've just got back from my home. Um, so I thought I'd give this a go. Uh, I'm going to go through what I got from the charity shop yesterday and the little bits I got from the car boot today until I had my flesh ruined. Which you probably saw earlier on in the vlog. More on them. But it was close. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I've got. I know I normally do these separately. But I'm kind of like just trying new things. I can't. I, f I think what it is I find sometimes when I do separate charity shop or car boot hauls. It's, it's all about me really. And I find them boring as hell. So, um, sorry the beard. The beard does need cutting. The, I had um, had my head shaved the other day, and the guy was offering to do my beard, and I was like, no, nah. couldn't know what he'd do. He'd just complete it, and it'd be down to here after he'd finished with it. So I'm gonna let it grow, maybe for another few months, and then he can have a cut. Anyway, we're talking about charity shops and car boots. What am I going on about? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through what I got from. So I showed you the charity shop all from. Thursday, so I went out again on Friday. Went to the no, on Friday, I showed you what I got on Friday. I went out again on Saturday to Wolverhampton and um, went to the car boot today this morning. So, all right, let's go for it. So, right, first two bits picked up a couple of bar bits. Um, these were three quid each. I thought I'd get more. Uh, the bar can work in order. I'm not going to press them because the kids will come running downstairs. Um, but yeah, this one. I think this one did it say it was from 2002. Yeah, this one's from like 2002. Not that much money in it. I'm going to shoot for a tenner on each of them. Again, with this one, not that much money. I think when you're looking at the Boppy Extreme 2s, you know, the, the twisty ones. I think them are the ones that have got the most money in them. But. I think at car boots, people charge like ridiculous amounts of well, not ridiculous amounts of money. What all you think's a lot like a tenner, fifteen in more ramps for the ones I've seen. Um, these were three quid each. I'm just going to shoot for a tenner. See what happens because they're not they don't seem to be going for that much money when I just checked. But yes, I'm checking them off. Um, up next, uh, these are the only bits. That from the charity shops that aren't clouding, so I'm getting these done. Up next, 
Um, I've seen stuff like this before, but I've all, I've always just got the clowns or the um, vases when it comes to maroon owl glass. So this is a maroon owl glass. If you've never heard of maroon owl glass, it hasn't really got a stamp on it. it cost me two ninety nine. It hasn't really got a stamp on it or anything like that um, to call it maroon owl glass. But I think I call it maroon owl style glass just in case I get in trouble. Um, but as you can see, you can see it's got a fish in the mouth. It's a pelican. Um, the thing that I found amazing on eBay while doing research for this was not a lot of people know what a pelican is. I've seen a lot of um, you know the pink birds, what they're called. <sighs> so tired. All this running is when my brain stopped working. The pink birds, skinny ones, I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember. I'll, I'll remember. Um, but yeah, this Maruno Pelican. This cost me 2 99 I'm going to shoot for 30 quid on this. One's gone for like 45 Um And then other ones are mostly abroad. Um, and then, you know, you're looking around 30 quid, 20 And then it gets low then. So I'm going to go for 30 quid the rest off. So I did. It's a, it's a not, I like it. It's a nice, unique. There's ones that have sold abroad for like 250 quid. It does make you think, like, should I just shoot for Massive money, but I don't know. But yeah, you can see the little fish in his mouth. That cost me two ninety nine. I'm gonna shoot for thirty. So that's the. I have got more stuff that is other than clothing, um, in the car boot stuff. So right, first, oh, give a shout out to I think it's Telly Time on YouTube who watches my videos. Who works at the Bernardo shop up town. So thank you very much for the deals. I'm not going to say how much I paid. Um, but it's just how they pay what the price of it is. <laughs> so yeah, I got these two Joe Brown shirts. Um, what was it the other day? I think it was a dress that I listed. I don't... Was it a dress? I can't remember. It was something to do with Joe Browns that I listed, which was from... I think it was from Amy's haul. Or the stuff that Amy sent me. Um... I hadn't really dealt with Joe Brown stuff before. Saw these, saw there were two quid on the label. Guy was going to give me a deal, so I thought I'd pick them up, take a punt. Definitely will pick up Joe Brown before. Looking up at the Joe Brown shirts, they seem to be funky, unique ones. These are, that one's got like a funky collar and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to shoot for 25 each. So I've got a black one, the kind of funky collar, and um, a purple one. The kind of funky trim, I don't know. but yeah. So I'm not gonna say I'm a please cost me because I don't want to get telly time and in trouble. But yeah, he did me a deal. Um, so I'm gonna go for 24 quid on each of these. I can hear a cat. Get out my bad cats. Uh, next, I actually got these written down. I've put it, trust me to put the. Oh, sorry. Trust me to put look I've got notes guys. Um up next I think these are both Wrangler jeans and I'm shooting for 20 quid on each of them. So you've got um what's this Wrangler boot cut fit. Just your standard Wrangler jeans, nothing nothing special. Um they what did that cost me? That cost me four ninety nine. I'll go for twenty on them. And then another set of Wrangler jeans, which these must be pretty old, and they're kind of faded. Not a tag I've really seen before. I don't think people are faking Wranglers, to be honest. Um, there's another tag on the zip which I have seen Wranglers with the tags on the zip, but I can't read that. It's pretty faded, so it shows out. Oh they are, but they're kind of a like a light blue. A light blue jean. I'll go for 20 quid on them. Da, da, da. Um some super dry jeans, which I like picking up super dry jeans. It looks like sorry Auntie Sue. Looks like somebody's jizzed on these. <laughs> I don't think they have. I think I'm gonna say it's yogurt. You know people. A man loves a yoghurt, and um, people can be mucky, aren't they? Because I'll have to wash these. But some super dry um, jeans, again, nothing special. A little buckle at the back. 
Um, again, I don't, I'm not sure about these. I can't see where these have like got a name or anything. It's got Waste 32. Um, yeah, it just says Tokyo denim. I don't like the Wrangler jeans. You have like boot cut, regular fit, Texas, Arizona. Like it kind of goes hillbilly state. Not hillbilly. That's wrong. Redneck, redneck states. I don't know if that's any better. Um, in America, and they kind of name them after them, but yeah, nothing with the super dry jeans. So, uh, so much of paper over. I got for 25 quid on these, and these cost me five of my English pounds. Do, do, do. No editing here, guys, either. Can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, next, I uh, think these are, took a punt on these, I just thought they looked cool. Um, some Lonsdale, Lonsdale boxing shorts. Um, again, let me pick these up. Will do the waste on these. Uh, it just says XL. I have been burnt um, lately with me just being a lazy bastard when I first started and just going by. But it says XL, so it's your problem to try and search up what the waste is. And then I'll get loads of questions on what's the waste. So, yeah, just um, some Lonsdale uh, boxing, boxing shorts. Thought they were pretty cool. Four quid. Um, should get 30 for these. I'm going to shoot for 30 with the best offer. Mm -hmm. oh. Ah. Oh. Sorry if that doesn't look attractive. I'm going to put these back up here. Hello, kitten. I'm going to show you the kittens. Um, Ferrari top. These were difficult to research um, because a lot of money abroad, but I'm just going to shoot for 15. If it sells straight away, it's my own problem, ain't it? But yeah, this was just on a two pound rack in um, the cancer research, just a Ferrari on the front, um, the lines down the back. I'm gonna shoot for 15. I just typed hard, it was a lot of work trying to work out um, what to go for on that. So just 15 on that one. This one surprised me, it was only a pound. Um, I picked up blazers with this on all this. So it was, what is it? Trout. Trout bum, that's it. All this trout bum t shirt. It had the lady in the um, in the cancer research giggling to herself. She went, Do you find stuff like that funny? And I was like, I have got a silly sense of humour as well. And I did when I saw trout bum have a little bit of a giggle. So yeah, um, all this trout bum t shirt. Um, I'm not sure if it's an underlie t shirt for when you're just fishing or there's a special air. There's special material, I don't, not 100% or if it's just the brand, but that should go for about 15. It only cost me a pound. A pound, it cost me a pound. Oh, dropped it. Another pair of Wranglers. Um, who are these? Wrangler Regular Fit, these were. Again, nothing amazing with Wranglers, nothing special about them. Just a Wrangler Regular Fit. 3.95 these cost me I'm gonna shoot for 25 because the regular fits are going for 25 at the minute. And then the last bit to the clothing um from the charity shops. And then we'll get into the good stuff guys, the carpet stuff, yeah. That's what you've hung around for, isn't it? That's why you're still sitting there while it's coming. Stay there. Guinness. Um I've talked about Guinness clothing before. I always pick up the polo Guinness shirts. And they always seem to fetch about 15 to 20 quid, depending. As I said, it seems like, you know, working men's club guys, they're always in the bigger sizes for the bigger man. And, um, yeah, so I always pick up the Guinness polo shirts because they seem to go for one. Right, <coughs> but, yeah, um, Guinness shirt. I thought I'd take a punt. Again, these are only £2.50 each, so I thought I'd take a punt. They actually go for all money, go for 25 quid each. So, yeah, 25. When I say the, when I'm saying the, the prices as well, I do take a lot of offers. Um, I kind of have a rule um, anything below 25 quid, I'll accept you know, a fiver off, but I will battle for that fiver. Uh, you know what I mean? Anything over 25 quid, um, you know, it's six or seven. Uh, but I will take best offers. So, when I do, when I do say these prices, I am going and searching sold items and going straight to the highest price and whatever. I won't go for like say there was a Guinness shirt 
and it sold for £1,500. I'm not going to just go by the highest, I'll go by you know, the consistent highest number instead of going for what I what I used to do before I used to use Best Offer, which is I would, um, <coughs> I would go by whatever popped up the best match kind of thing, but I always go by the highest price now. So yeah, just the finished shirts, checked, black and white shirt, and good quality to be fair. Um, again, another one, just to get a shirt, 25 quid. £2.50 each. £2.50. £2.50. So they need to go in my death pile up there. I've got a lot of photos I need to do this week. B&M, other shops are available. So right now, we're going through the car boot stuff. So um, at the car boot today, as I said, picked up an injury. I... Hold on. Like the absolute G that I am. Um, but uh, yeah, so I had to kind of cut it short and what happened, I got to the end of the car boot and realised I had a blister <laughs> and I was like, oh, I need to go, I just need to go, I can't do it, I can't pull around the car boot again, look at my foot, this is really funny now. So I kind of did, I, I was like, I've got to go and then I'll show you the last two items that I got and I hung about for these two items, um, no, not hung about, I went back for these two specific I can't say this word, specific, not to the ocean, items, and I went back and like, haddled, I don't haddle, but I, I haddled with the guy, that's what I wrote, so right, um, yeah, so I actually put a photo on Instagram of these earlier, um, so we've got these wicker frogs, if you saw my photo on Instagram, Rosie, the little kitten, Got him one of these. It actually actually went in. When I get back, I open my bag up to get my stuff out, and the kittens are right in the bag, and they're all in the bag. And then I found her in this, and I kind of, I just pulled her out with her in this. She just kind of stayed in there, put her down. She didn't care. She was like, you know, I'll travel with you, mate. Um, but yeah, this one's a bit bigger. This one's a bigger frog than this one. There might be toads. Two frogs. That cost me fifty p each. So this one, as you can see, has kind of got the mouth missing. and I'm guessing it should be the same as that one, if you can look at right the side. So that one ain't got a mouth. But I'm guessing that would be a nice plant pot. Looking at them, they're going for ridiculous money. Like, they were 30, um, 50 quid one went for, which was ridiculous. Um, I'm going to shoot for 30 quid for each, each of them. Sorry. See what happens. So 30 quid, that cost me 50 p each. You don't know. You don't know, do you? It could. They could both sell for 30 quid. And then who's laughing, eh? I am. Right, up next, um, yeah, I'll show you this one. This one was a bit of a dud. I paid four quid for these. I paid four quid for these. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, I always like to pick up some fire companions. So this did have a box with it. Um, as soon as I paid the guy and I got the box in my bag, my idea through the car boot was because it, my, my back was pretty bulky today um my idea through the car boot was that i'm gonna get rid of this fire companion um like storage part because the metal was ripping off the front i've actually put it out for the scrap man because i'm not gonna sell it it's it, the the metal the brass was coming off the front of it, it somebody would have ended up cutting themselves so i've just kind of done took the bits out had a look up i should get about 15 quid with the best off I, you know, got a shovel, a brush, two pokers and a fork. So yeah, just going to shoot for 15 quid with the spares on there. Hey, um, yeah, some Doc, yeah, got some Doc Martins steel tile cap boots. Um, these... The only reason why I picked these up, I know I've seen Doc Martens sell before. I've never picked up Doc Martens before. They're a bit beat up, I'm not going to lie. Um, you can see the end of the laces are a bit fucked on all of them. A bit rough on the end. Not in the best condition. Um, so, you know, some are going for 50. Some are going for 50, some are going for more than 50. I've put 40 down on here, but I don't know that I should go for 40. Um... I think 40 is a bit high, I might go for 35, because they are a bit beat up. Um, 
I think I saw some ones that look beat up as well that have gone for 30. So I think I'm going to shoot for 35. And the Dach Martins, oh, they cost me a fiver. One cost me a fiver. Um, and then some other boots. This is not the end of the boots. These, never heard of this brand before, but I thought they looked a quality boot. Um, yeah, I just thought they looked a quality boot. Nice, like. I, I was trying to work this out with the wife earlier, these ankle boots, I don't know. But I'm trying to work boots, no toe caps in them, but the brand is, I don't know if you can see it there, H-A-I-X, never heard of the brand. Uh, look them up, there's a lot of them they have sold, um, and they go for all right money, I paid a tenner for these, um, I'm going to shoot for 65 quid, so, if you know that brand, H-A-I-X, H-A-I-X. I've, there's probably people screaming at the screen, like, you don't know what hikes is? I've never heard of hikes, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, good, good quality boot, um, cost of 10, I'm going to shoot for 60, uh -huh. get out the bag, cat, you know, one of the cats are in the bag, right, and then these two last items, um, I paid 30 quid each, their shoes, I paid 30 quid each for these, um, the guy, when I first went there, this is why I went, I went straight as my foot was hurting. I was like, I'm going to have to go home. I can't walk this guy boot again with this blister. Um, I went back to the guy and I was like, right, because he wanted 50 quid each for these boots. Um, and I was like, right, I'll give you 30 quid each. And he was like, I'll give you four. I was like, nah, I can only do 30 quid each. And we kind of just stood there talking for a while. And he's like, go on then. If you're going to take both of them, 60 quid. So I paid 60 quid for these. Now, if you've never heard of these, um, I, there was a car boot a long, um, probably a couple of years ago, and I saw these boots, and this was back in the day, I'd only take like 50 quid, I was like Josh. I don't know, Josh don't even take 50 quid, but I'd only take about 50 quid to the car boot. I'd take a bit more now, I've gone up to 100. Um, but, I only had 50 quid on me and he wanted 50 quid for the boots. And when I looked them up, I was like, good lord, they do go for good money. Um, but these are new, see there? New rock boots. And these are heavy, really good quality boots. New rock on the bottom. Oh, steel there, steel there. Really good heavy boot. Like springs across the front there. So they are really, they're really nice. I mean, a couple of years ago, it's always something that's kept on mind. New rock, new rock. If you see, it, in my, if where I live, they were called Greenbows. But, you know, kind of gothic boots. If you see any Greenbow boots, <laughs> have a look, see what they make are. So yeah, as soon as I saw these, and he wanted 50 quid each, I was like, I can't give you 50 quid. It was only, it was only like the third row in the car boot, and I was like, I can't give you 50 quid. Uh, but I was, yeah, I didn't want to just shoot on 50 quid straight away. Um, but yeah, so I went back as soon as I knew my foot was hurting, and I was like, I've got to go and see these boots. Um, but yeah, so these cost me 30 quid. I'm going to shoot for 80 on these. Uh, there's no, like, that, that, that's kind of a, kind of a gold tone, a kind of bronze tone. Um, there's no specific, I can't say the word, kind of name to them. Um, you know, you have Nike. That I, well, I don't know. I'm I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm not even gonna pretend that I know what the certain names are. But um, yeah, just searching them up, seeing the kind of boot that look like these, and they've gone for around eighty quid. So I'm gonna shoot for eighty quid with the vest off for that. It cost me thirty. And then another pair, and these are look at these, look at these platform babies with springs in the bottom. So again, these cost me thirty quid. And new rock thingy. They've got like a weird. Because these ones are called Planet, New Rock Planet. They've got like a weird kind of earth thing in the middle. If you can see them. You can see like the earth thing there. Um, so yeah, they cost me 30. Um, I'm going to shoot 450 on these. Be the best stuff out of them. Size 4. <laughs> but the reason why I'm going to go for 150. Some of them have sold for 165. With the words well worn. And feck it, I'm gonna I'm gonna put well worn because they are well worn. I'm not trying to be a creepy, um, a creepy guy and take advantage. They are pretty well worn. These aren't as well worn as the ones that I saw. But at the minute, I'm gonna shoot for 150 with the best offer. 
but yeah, look quality. It's not nice, nice bit of it. I don't, we were trying to work out, see those stars at the back, if they are something that someone's put in that just don't seem to match with the boot kind of thing. Don't seem to match, but yeah, hundred. I'm gonna cheat for 150 and they cost me 30. So yeah, that's my car boot haul. Um, this week, I think I've got a video out of this. I didn't think I'd sit here and chat for 23 minutes. Um, but yeah, I hope you you don't mind me mixing all these kind of vlogs together, like a bit of a chatty vlog, hauls, sales, stuff like that, all mixed into one. I just can't be bothered doing them separately. When I do car boot hauls and stuff like that, I just I find them painfully boring. So I'd like to mix, mix and match all of them. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on. As I say, I'm, I don't think I'm going to film every day. I'm just going to film up until I fancy it or I've got something to talk about or whatever. But yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. Feedback is always welcome. Peace out. Stay safe, stay beautiful. And I will see you in my next video.